हेलो फूडीज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ कुश जोहर एंड योर वॉचिंग ट्रैवो फूडी एंड टूडे आई एम हेयर एट वन ऑफ द माई फेवरेट रीजन विच इज़ कॉल्ड पारमा इन इटली एंड टूडे आई विल बी कवरिंग पारमी जैनो रेजियानो चीज़ विच इज़ बीन प्रोसेस इन दिस फैक्ट्री फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू फिनिश विच इज़ बीन प्रोसेस इन फैक्ट बिहाइंड दिस डोर विच इज़ जस्ट बिहाइंड मी एंड आई जस्ट गो बिहाइंड दिस डोर एंड विल शो यू हाउ दिस चीज इज़ बीन प्रिपेयर सो बी विद मी and let's start this episode she is the one who has invited me here to cover this episode namaste to india oh, namaste <laughs> so we will see the process and you will tell us that how the cheese is been processed in this parmigiano reggiano cheese factory and she is my guide to, for today so okay so kishane can you tell me about uh, the whole cheese process we'll try to tell you everything from the beginning So the cheese is made every day, seven days a week, including of the morning milking. They need to process it because the milk is fresh milk, raw milk. It is not pasteurized, okay. and there is a rule: everything must be turned into cheese before two hours have passed after the arrival of the morning milk to the factory. That's why we couldn't wait for you. <laughs> okay, so. But actually, everything started last night with the arrival of the evening milk to the cheese factory. The same okay. cows are milked every 12 hours, okay. and yesterday evening milk was kept overnight into these trays uh, in natural conditions. Uh, and here, a natural separation between milk and fat uh, took place. Okay. Uh, the fat of the milk rose up to the this, uh, to the top of these trays, and this morning that layer of fat. Uh, was uh, earlier this morning was separated okay and uh, yesterday evening milk will be used as a partially skimmed milk okay the fat is not thrown away it is refrigerator and it will be sold to a butter factory okay. where it will be pasteurized before becoming butter so okay. it is not allowed to produce butter in the same room where parmigiano reggiano is made according to the law butter needs to be pasteurized okay. with that milk the milk the partially skim milk of each tray they filled the first half of the of a cauldron the same cows were milked this morning uh, again and the whole milk uh, of the morning was soon added into the cauldron to be mixed together with yesterday partially skim milk okay. at the end we we get the cheese which is not that fat because it comes from half and half half whole milk half partially skim okay. two more ingredients were added before starting the processing the whey and the rennet yeah. the whey is the liquid that every day at the end of the processing is separated to be used tomorrow morning the following day and you can see there in the ferment machine the whey which has been pumped out from each cauldron they fill it uh, it is the same te final temperature of the cooking of the cheese 55 degrees but in a short time the temperature will be diminished down to 45 which okay. is the ideal temperature for a specific breed of bacteria to develop okay. to reproduce themselves they are the thermophilus bacteria bacteria the good bacteria that we need to preserve uh, the cheese the use of any chemical solvents so everything must be washed with steam and uh, water while the copper of the cauldron which oxidates uh, very fast okay. it is uh, washed with the same way with the liquid of uh, which is left which is a perfect solvent at the moment uh, cheeses are on the bottom of the cauldron we can't see them uh, yeah, because they settle down yeah one hour they for sat there hour. for okay. one hour after the end of the cooking in about 15 minutes the first cheeses will be ready those cheeses which were, were cooked so one hour I'm, ago i can see that whole brick yes yes okay. we will see everything it is one huge block uh, which will yeah. be separated into two halves okay it will be separated in two halves then two again it will be made in one it was it is one because now the block of curd has the shape okay. of the bottom of cauldron okay. mm -hmm. and then with a knife they will then make will two then you will give again a shape to we it we come back okay. to see to so it so here everything is ready for the lifting out of the cheeses the shapes okay. uh, the shaping uh, the cloth so is the cheese has already settled down in these tanks and uh, these are how many tanks do we have here Do you like this? Yes. They are 
Okay, the so, 17 tanks are like this mm -hmm. here. So, mm -hmm. 17 multiplied by 2 mm -hmm. is almost like 34. Uh, and the long wooden paddle, which uh, will help to lift which is okay. the huge okay. block up. Okay. That block of cord is very heavy because it is 100 kilos. 100 kilo. Wow. Then the cheeses will be 2, 50 kilos each. Okay. So what is so special that why the cheese has to be okay, is the milk, milk Parmigiano and the bacteria, which and the bacteria get from of the soil of the soil from which everywhere. Is only in Parma That's region. why the cows must be given local food, okay. uh, which is based on alfalfa alpha grass, uh, hay, grains, uh, but uh, uh, the food uh, must be specifically uh, okay. grown here. So Everything is a gift by God given to a Parma region to make a Parmesan cheese. Okay, from Upstairs, okay. the new cheeses at the end of the shaping will be soon brought here, and uh, this weight will be put on them okay. to allow a faster draining of the liquid okay. which are inside. Cheeses are very heavy, 50 kilos, because a lot of uh, so liquid. This, a, this also might have a good weight. Huh? Is a good <laughs> weight? Yeah, the 10 kilos. Wood. 10 uh, wood, 10 kilos, almost 10 kilos. Why well, here you can see. Yesterday production. If I remove this cloth, you can read that these cheeses were made yesterday, okay. January the 16th, from Calderon number 14. 16, this is 14, uh, yeah. this is the it's twins. Uh, the, we okay. say the twin sisters. We call them okay. the two cheeses coming from, from the from same one cold from one. Okay. They are. If you touch them, they are still warm here because uh, it takes time to the cheese to lose heat. Mm? Okay. It is something warm which uh, is releasing heating very, very slowly. Right. But uh, you will see that cheeses, uh, as soon as they are shaped, will not be placed in this kind of shapes, but into the white plastic ones that yeah, you have seen uh, upstairs. Outside, yeah. um, so what they will do, I have to close because they need to sleep, to rest. <laughs> Otherwise, they catch a cold. No, a thermical shock will, uh, could, could give, this is winter, a very cold winter, so it's better to avoid a cold for them. <laughs> okay, now our cheeses will be lifted out from the cauldron. Each cheese will be wrapped into a cloth and placed into the white shapes upstairs. Okay. That cloth, which will be wet, uh, will be changed uh, with a clean one every two hours uh, today okay. for three times. Meanwhile, they change the cloth and they turn cheeses upside down uh, to give it an, a flat shape. At the end of the day, the last cloth will be okay. removed uh, and in between that plastic uh, shape and the cheese, this stencil will be inserted like this. Okay. Like this, into a shape, into the shape around so the, the cheese. The has already been put? Has already given, but okay. uh, last night, because okay. they have just changed the shape. So, this is very important. It is a piece of plastic, but very precious for us. And these, uh, what we call something like marking bands, uh, belong to the association, the consortium of uh, the producers. Consorzio del Formaggio Parmigiano Reggiano. I belong to the consortium, and the consortium, which is an office, basically, owns the brand Parmigiano Reggiano. All the producers, the 350 producers, are associated to the consortium, which, is, uh, uh, which takes care of control and promotion as well. So, the brand, the official brand, which will be stenciled forever on the rind of the cheese, is Parmigiano Reggiano in Italian. Any okay. other brand, such as Parmesan, is not the authentic one. Okay. So Parmigiano Reggiano, Parmigiano Reggiano, which comes from the names of the two main cities producing this cheese, Parma, where we are, and Reggio Emilia Reggiano. From this, you get many information, such as the code, oh, this is reversed, I'm sorry. The code number of the cheese factory, which is here. Okay, this is the code number okay, of cheese factory. The month and the year, January oh, okay. 20. Okay. And then. Right, this is the month, this is the year 20, this is the factory code which, from which factory it has come, and this is the. The PDO. Protected okay. denomination of origin, the European certification which is assigned to special traditional products. Right. 
and uh, again uh, a European certification and approval of the European Health Agency, despite the f this cheese is really still handmade as it was 900 years ago, probably. Mm -hmm. Nobody is wearing gloves, everything is processed in natural condition, milk is not pasteurized. Uh, we, as a consortium, we ask the in the middle. You see an oval empty space, uh, which uh, will this only for be the for the fire stamp. brand of quality, okay. which is provided only at the age of one year. Okay. This is kept for one night only. The second day, this is removed and cheeses will be passed from the white Teflon shapes into the stainless steel shapes to be given the convexity. Mm. Okay. So, guys, these cheeses are still warm from outside as uh, there is uh, still the heat is there this has been just processed yesterday and uh, after this this goes to a brine solution and now which we will see what what is the process after this where the fresh new cheeses will be uh, kept immersed into this brine for about 20 days in order to be salted the water is a brine of water and sea salt. What you see there is just sea salt. Okay. These little boxes have got holes underneath and through those holes, water dissolves as much salt as it can to be saturated. That's why cheeses are flooding here wow. mm, for the high density of salt. During this brining, a natural chemical process of osmosis takes place here. The salt from the water is absorbed by the cheeses, but in 20 days it will go inside for three centimeters, more or less, not more. And the total salt content in Parmigiano Reggiano is never more than 1.5 percent. Then, um, after 20 days, cheeses will be moved on shelves in the warehouse, okay, so but the osmosis will go on in the air because from the outside, the salt will proceed toward the center. Toward the center yeah. It will take nine more months uh, to the salt uh, to reach so the core of the cheese. From start to finish, how many months does it take? Minimum 12 months. The day before yesterday, this cheese has been molded on a third day. So after molded, this will go in these brine solutions. Okay. After three days, uh, they will be sorted. Okay. And uh, every cheese has got this label, which is okay. made of cheese, of casein, the same, so it is edible, as well as the rind. Parmig Parmigiano Reggiano has a very hard rind, which can be eaten, because no wax, no plastic, nothing right. will be added. So this them. is, uh, this is a cheese. plaquette made of casein, the protein of the cheese, edible wow. too, and the black color is a food colorant. I okay. don't like it, but it is not dangerous for like health, it. it should be. So CFPR is Consorzio Formaggio Parmigiano Reggiano, Okay. The QR code will be readable only after the uh, quality test, uh, which only takes place at the age of one year. Okay. While uh, this is the code number of the cheese, every cheese has a, a number. So we know okay. everything. During the process. So this barcode can be read? You, can, you will scan, scan later on okay. uh, when the cheese is approved and it becomes officially Parmigiano Reggiano. Not bad. Uh, average in the past, uh, they were just using these numbers. Uh, okay. With a vegetal ink uh, pencil, they are writing the date, the number of the colder, okay. and during the processing, they fill a record book uh, on okay. which they take note of everything. Uh, what happened today in colder number one, where the milk uh, came from. This place is a cooperative which belongs to nine farmers uh, of the okay. area and they provide the milk. As far as possible, the master keeps their milk separate uh, in order to avoid... Uh, so how many there is these factories are here in Parma? Uh, uh, totally 356, uh, 350, okay. let's say. 350 are the certified? I'm not updated okay. because this is the beginning of the year, let's say 350. Okay. During the brining, the rind becomes harder and cheeses will lose weight. Okay. They will lose the 5% of their initial weight here okay. because salt goes inside, but fat and moisture are released. Every day, cheeses need, be, need to be turned upside down like this. Okay, every day? Every day. No every day, day like cheese has to be turned up. Vice versa, it has to be flipped. So that the salt should go inside out everywhere.
and now she is doing for us. For example, these two just date back to the 9th of January. Oh, so these are the dates. So guys, these are the dates which have been mentioned here. So So guys, these are the cheese, and then after this, this is being processed here. This is being brushed here to give a finishing, polished. Did you notice? Did you notice the approval? Eh? This yeah. is the overall fire brand of quality. But it is that that at the age of one year, it is a perfect parmesan. What is this? Eighteen. Uh, this was uh, November 18, 18, 18. The year. Okay. okay. Then we can have a second quality. Okay, this is the quality test. Test is officially done by the cheese experts of the consortium of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. He is the cheese master and he perfectly knows the quality of the cheese is made. The cheese experts visit the cheese factory three times a year and every time they come to tap the production of four months of the year before. Every single cheese will be tested like that. And the sound. Every single, it's not a random test, but every single test, test okay. cheese is there. The sound must be the same in each position. And okay. the, according to the age, the uh, cheeses will sound a little bit different. The cheese he is now tapping is very old. It dates back to February 2008, uh, so it is uh, 12 years old. That's why it is smaller and with a dry sound. How many years do you have? 12. Can I take a photo of them? So many years. It's 12 years. February 08. That's why it has more of the way it is light and the, it's, it's, the color is quite towards more darker. Dark. Yeah. It's the same age of this boy. <laughs> February 08. <laughs> and so exactly the same age. Wow. <laughs> I'm just checking the quality of the cheese, like a cheese master, how the cheese is, how's the sound coming out, that's how the cheese master has just tested, now he has just gone, so I got a chance to do the same, okay. this whole dog is very heavy guys, hopefully I can handle this, uh, very good. Thank you. I have already seen how the cheese has been processed and it was very interesting and it was a feeling of proud to see the che favorite cheese has been manufactured in front of you. Uh, being a chef, being, being into Italian kitchen, I'm very close to Parmigiano Reggiano, that's why I've come here. In fact, uh, they have invited me to visit this, so I also could not say no to them and I ha came here just to see uh, how this cheese is being prepared and the tours usually starts in a very early time early morning which is like around 8 or 8 15 am and uh, i reach here around 8 45 am just due to because of the there was a language problem with the driver but uh, somehow a few few moments i have missed but then also it was worth coming here and watching the cheese being processed in front of my eyes and let's go and check it out how does it taste